This is a picture of plastic wastes dumped on the street. People usually use plastic products as delivery containers, beverage bottles, and cosmetics. Increasingly, plastic usage is increasing. We're going to look at the microplastics in there. In Korea, microplastic was first addressed in the KBS Environment Special on June 1, 2011 to publicize the seriousness of the North Pacific Ocean sea waste problem, which is repeating a vicious circle around the world. On January 27, 2012, the BBC reported that a team of researchers from the US and the UK had published a study showing that up to 1. 900 fine plastic fibers would be dropped each time washing clothes made of synthetic fibers. Microplastic, detected in the clean Arctic Ocean, microplastic threatening young fish, swallowing one credit card size microplastic a week as you can see the media is interested in microplastics so we started this project to see if microplastic is really bad for the human body so what is microplastic It's divided into macroplastics, microplastics, mezzoplastics, nanoplastics, and the microplastics that we focus on. Microplastics which are less than 5 mm in diameter are divided into primary and secondary microplastics. Primary microplastics such as microbeads are made less than 5 mm from the time of manufacture. Secondary microplastics are made from broken or worn large plastics such as plastic pet bottles. Next is about microplastic generation amount. This graph shows worldwide plastic production by usage from 1950 to 2015. This is a picture of microplastic amount occurring on land and rivers. To summarize the painting by table, it ranks second and third in the Incheon Jiayongi coastal areas and the Nakdogang estuary in South Korea. The following is a study of the institutions that have studied microplastics. They are studies from the Department of Environment, WHO, Orb Media, and the University of Manchester. In 2018, who announced that microplastics were found in more than 90% of bottled water brands with high sales rankings. Of these, up to 10,300 plastics were found per liter in Nestle's bottled water. The following are the environmental impacts of microplastics. Microplastic affects not only the environment, but also the health of the human body exposed to the environment. Environmental and human health effects can be distinguished by physical and toxic effects. Physical effects are the effects associated with the presence of microplastics inside living organisms, and toxic effects refer to the properties of microplastics that are toxic. First is the effect of microplastic on the ocean. The effect of microplastic on the ocean is largely as follows. Plastics account for most of Korea's marine waste with about 69%. Large amounts of waste plastics are flowing into the sea each year, and among them, microplastic accounts for up to 51 trillion. On average, the number of microplastics consumed is 11,000. 
Microplastic concentrations are the highest along the coast of China and Southeast Asian countries that emit large quantities of plastic waste. It is also estimated that the Plastic Waste Island, a huge waste area of 1.6 million square kilometers formed in the North Pacific, has 1.8 trillion microplastics. The following is the process of plastic flowing into the ocean. Synthetic fiber, tires, and urban dust account for the majority of microplastic factors flowing in. According to Lindstedt and Eklov, the effects of microplastic ingestion can vary by marine species or stage of growth. Young creatures have been reported to be more susceptible to microplastics than mature ones. This has been shown to affect food activities, eating, and how to respond to threats from predatory fish, and to be chemically and physically involved in growth. In other experiments, mud worms exposure to polyvinyl chloride in a long term showed inflammatory reactions, and are decreased in growth and reproduction. In particular, a slowdown in mudslide activity can cause subsea sediment to not circulate smoothly, affecting the entire marine ecosystem. Cole ingested microplastics in crabs and copepods to investigate the effects of microplastics on marine life over time. As a result, food activities slowed down, energy shortages occurred, and the number of spawning cases decreased significantly. These various studies have reported a wide range of physical effects on aquatic organisms. These effects are distinguished as follows. Nutrition reduction, structural damage, inflammatory reactions and organizational changes. Next is the toxic effect. The toxic effects of microplastics on aquatic organisms mean the potential toxic effects by chemicals associated with microplastics. Toxic chemicals such as raw materials or additives of microplastics can be released into seawater, and vice versa, the chemicals in the sea can be absorbed to the surface, causing toxicity to all marine life. Also bisphenol, nonylphenol, and polybrominated diphenyl ether affect endocrine system. Besseling showed 1.1 to 3.6 fold increase in PCBS in the body after prolonged exposure of worms to marine sediments pre absorbed. Wardrop announced that 21 days of exposure to PBCs contaminated microbeads increased the amount of PBDEs accumulated in fish. These experiments demonstrated the migration of microplastic contaminants into aquatic tissues. Many experimental studies have shown that microplastic pollutants are transferred to aquatic organisms, and some have evaluated the toxicity of microplastics due to ingestion of pollutants additives. Brown examined changes in mortality, feeding activity, and immune function by exposing the worms to clean sand and mixed sands to investigate the effects of pollutants triclosan and PBDE on the worms. As a result, worms exposed to triclosan treated sand decreased their survival compared to the control group, and their feeding activity decreased when exposed to PBDE. Exposure to sand mixed with nonylphenol reduced the phagocytic activity of the body's corpus luteum compared to the control. Ropeman examined the endpoint of gene expression in experiments using the same species, plastic type, and exposure procedure. Male fish have been shown to change estrogen receptor mediated gene expression in the liver when exposed to microplastics. 
female fish have been shown to down-regulate estrogen receptors. This means that down-regulation of genes can reduce the fertility of fish. The effect of microplastics in seawater is important because when predators, the upper stages of the food chain, feed on lower stages of food contaminated with microplastics. They can be transferred or accumulated through the food chain. Murray and Cowie confined the lobster to a controlled tank and fed plastic-fed fish for food and observed the results. A small piece of plastic was found in all lobster camouflage, indicating the possibility of plastic accumulation in the body. The previous experiments show that microplastics affect organisms. Below is a picture of marine organisms contaminated by microplastics and plastics. The following is the freshwater pollution status. As you can see, the study of microplastics focused on the impact on the marine environment. Until now, microplastic research has focused on the impact on the marine environment. Recently, however, reports of microplastics have been found in fresh and wastewater environments. According to domestic research, it can be seen that 0.2 pieces cubic meter of fine plastics were collected from the main stream of Han River, Jamsil Sumbohanam Bridge. In addition, as a result of surveying the status of tap water in Korea, 0.2, 0.4 and 0.6 were detected per 1L in 3 water purification plants out of 24 water purification plants. Plastic pollutants vary widely in freshwater environments, but the biggest impact is sewage treatment. The table above shows the results of microplastic research on several sewage treatment plants. Effluent from the treatment plant flows around and transports fine plastics to natural water and discharges a considerable amount. Many researchers say that these fine plastics can be a potential threat to living organisms. If aquatic organisms eat plastic chips, they will be injured during digestion. In addition, microplastics absorbed into the body of the organism are transferred to the upper levels through the food chain, suggesting that researchers may be at risk for the human body. What we are most worried about is how fine plastics in natural water affect humans. It is. So what happens when the microplastic that enters through water or lower level organisms enters our bodies? The process by which fine plastic enters the human body is as follows. First of all, plastic chips or microbeads that come off the plastic waste flow into the sea and break up into smaller particles. When microplastics enter the ocean, the organisms of fish consume it first, and the top animals that eat fish consume the second. When a human catches and eats these marine organisms, the microplastics in marine organisms also enter the human body. Fine plastic waste is suspended in the sea with small particles. These microplastics contain DDT, polychlorinated biphenyls, phthalates, and organobromine compounds. The following is a risk assessment of microplastics. First of all, 
This paper is about the adsorption of cadmium on microplastics and it is possible to check whether contaminants can be adsorbed on microplastics and transported in living organisms. There are two types of adsorption, electrical, physical, and chemical adsorption. The conditions also affect adsorption. First, you can see that the adsorption rate of cadmium increases over time. The higher the temperature, the higher the Gibbs energy, the higher the number of collisions and the higher the adsorption. On the other hand, it did not respond much to changes in pH. As a result, the adsorption of cadmium is physical adsorption. Unlike general materials, cadmium has a limit of adsorption depending on the mechanical conditions. So if cadmium enters the human body through living things and microplastics, there is more inflow through living organisms with higher levels of accumulation. The following is a paper on dissolution of substances. Korean researchers tested the permeability of cell membranes of nanoplastics produced by the breakdown or cleavage of microplastics in zebrafish. It was confirmed that zebrafish exposed to nanoplastics penetrate the egg membrane, accumulate in egg yolk, and are distributed in the nervous system and various organs. In addition, the PS polymer used in the experiment reacted with O-ions in the embryo to elute the monomer, monomer, resulting in the destruction of the mitochondria. In other words, microplastic modifications react with substances in the organism to produce toxic substances, which have passed through the egg membrane and affect the embryo. And if this process continues, there is a possibility of mutation. The problem here is that eluents such as additives, plasticizers, and monomers eluted from plastics are toxic. However, it is not known whether they have the same effect on humans and in many cases, substance dissolution affects after dissolution in vitro rather than in the body. From now on, we will conclude whether microplastics are really dangerous. In 2018, the Austrian Environment Agency confirmed that microplastics were introduced into the human body, but the findings were found in human stool. Indicating that microplastics are released into the body again. The possibility that microplastics can affect people physically or chemically beyond the environment continues to be raised, but this is only a hypothesis and there is no proven data. In addition, in most studies, the risk of microplastics in humans is estimated based on the analysis of the effects of microplastics on marine life. In other words, there are not many studies that can prove the actual effects such as the problem of microplastics in human body when humans absorb microplastics. Therefore, there is an urgent need for research on the effects that microplastics can have on the human body. Then why do the various media pay attention to the risks of microplastics? The reason is that the press and the media emphasized the problem of microplastics without proven data in order to prepare for the potential danger of microplastics accumulating in the environment. Over time, in addition, I believe that the case studies of living organisms have proved their harmfulness. And thus it is a warning about new dangers and the disadvantages that will come back to us due to environmental degradation.